Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and in this video you'll learn six tips for using Google Sheets. Since I love Google Sheets and Google Analytics, I'm going to focus on how you can use Google Sheets with data from Google Analytics. But you can use any data source you like when applying these tips to your own spreadsheets. We're going to cover these six tips. Number one, how to add heat maps using conditional formatting. Number two, how to insert a chart from Google Sheets into a Google Doc. Number three, applying filters to our data. Number four, how to quickly summarize data. Number five, how to add a sparkline. And number six, how to quickly visualize data. Let's get started. Tip number one is adding heat maps using conditional formatting. Heat maps are a great way to draw attention to important data in your sheet. You can highlight particular values, outliers, or errors using conditional formatting. Applying a color scale allows you to quickly highlight lower and higher values in your data. I find this especially useful when I've pulled in data from Google Analytics so that I can quickly identify where to focus my analysis. To add a heat map, select the cells, then choose Format, and then Conditional Formatting, then choose Color Scale. Lower values will now be highlighted, but you can also change this quickly by selecting the default options. Now the higher values are highlighted in our sheet. Tip number two is to insert a chart from Google Sheets into a Google Doc. Once you've created a chart inside Google Sheets, you can insert it into a doc. Let's head to Google Docs. Then to insert the chart into our document, we select Insert, then Chart, and then From Sheets. We can now select our spreadsheet, and then select one of the charts in our spreadsheet. This can save a lot of time since the chart will automatically update in your document to reflect any changes you've made in Google Sheets. Tip number three is to apply filters. You can use filters to only view rows of interest within the sheet. This can be really useful when you're working on a larger set of data. Just select the filter icon. And then you click the filter icon in the first row of your sheet and select the value or values you'd like to view. If you're using a filter on a regular basis, you can save them to use again in the future. Select the filter icon, then save as filter view. You can then name the new filtered view. And return to it by selecting it from the drop down. Tip number four is to quickly summarize data. If you're looking for a quick way to summarize data, then some ifs and count ifs can be a good option, as they allow you to define multiple criteria. For example, you could sum all numbers over a certain value or count the number of rows that contain a particular string or value. Let's select a column and add some ifs, b1 to b6, comma, a1 to A6, comma, USA. This will only sum values for the rows matching USA. Tip number five is to visualize data with a sparkline. You can easily add sparklines to your sheets in order to quickly see trends in your data. This can be especially useful if you're comparing data like metrics from Google Analytics, or if you want to turn your sheet into a dashboard. To add a sparkline, we choose a cell, then enter sparkline. And enter the range for the sparkline. That's it. Tip number six is to quickly visualize data. If you're ever looking for new ideas on how to visualize your data, you can use the explore feature to see suggested ways to present your data. Just click the explore icon on the bottom right corner of your sheet. You'll be presented with different visualization suggestions based on your data. And you can also select cells in your sheet to see specific suggestions for those cells. So there are six tips you can use with Google Sheets. And remember, I've used data from Google Analytics in this video, but you can use any data source you like. 
Which tip did you like the best? Let me know in the comments below this video. For even more things you can do with Google Sheets, read my post where I cover 19 awesome things Google Sheets can do. You can find the tips I've covered in this video and more in the post. You can find a link to the tips in the description below this video. Have you got any other tips you'd like to share? Let me know. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.